mind day in and day out. Typically, it's referred to as the rat race. People claim you can't get ahead at your job, right? That it's toil and slave labor and, and it's, it's miserable suffrage, as if that was Sisyphus. Well, believe it or not, that is a lie that you were told. That you can't get ahead in life. That your job is a wrecking ball on your soul. Right? That your job is the Sisyphus stone. That's not true. Not in my opinion. In my opinion, a man can excel in life. I've done it. I know other men that have done it. You guys have probably done it to varying degrees or with some totality some degree of ultimate success when you go to your work yeah you have to work every single day but the boss recognizes it you get raises you get promotions sure it takes years but you get ahead you make investments in your life and yourself as MGTOW you don't have right somebody biting at your ankles all the time, pushing you around, distracting you, right, and making unreasonable demands all the time. So in life, if you look at your job as the Sisyphus stone, you can get it to the top. You can get it to rest and stay put, and the next day you build on top. As you push the stone up the hill, you're building on yourself, on your life. Because that stone is no longer someone else's burdens. The stone is your burden, the burden of your life. And you can make it work. You can push it in the direction you want. You can succeed. That is the difference. This idea of the Sisyphus stone in your work, the rat race, you can get ahead in life. We've all been lied to. We've all been tricked and told that life is miserable hard work. So, what do you need? You, you better get a woman, because she'll take good care of you. <laughs> it's the opposite way around. You can get ahead in life. Life is difficult no matter what, but why do you need to pile a woman on that and make your life even more difficult? Right? And we're not just talking about regular women, we're talking about today's women. And I'm sorry to everyone on here, whether you're 70 or 60 or 40 or 20, it's just too fucking bad. We are living in a time when we're dealing with the most tyrannical, contemptuous pains in the ass on the planet. These women today, it's like they crap Sisyphus stones on top of our heads. <laughs> but you can get ahead. You can. You can win this game. The key to it is MGTOW going your own way, right? Only creating the burden that you need for yourself, for the goals you want to reach. That is as much work as you need. And unlike Sisyphus in the myth, you have the ability, right, um, to not lose ground every day, to not start over every day. You can be satisfied with yourself. You don't have to look and deal with a woman who is unsatisfied with you and constantly is undermining you and causing the stone to roll back every single day. Right? The Sisyphus story, myth, right? the philosophical notion behind not being able to get ahead or being able to get ahead. What causes such punishments? Where do they come from? Right? What is the real goal and purpose of life? These are taught through myth through allegory, right? through ancient stories. Those people that lived thousands of years ago weren't morons. They understood how things worked. Right? But women do. They will crap all over you. They will undermine you. They will bite your heel. They'll hamstring you. They'll give you so much work you don't know what is more important. I'm dealing with a guy right now who is being run ragged by his new wife, who is telling him what to do, and she's so far in his head that you'd think that his own head was up his ass, 
but his head is up her ass and he can't see what he's doing, right? And she is making more work for this poor sap and I can't mention him by name. Let's just call him uh, Billy. Billy has got his head so far up his ass, her ass, he can't see straight. And there's Billy's everywhere, right? And she will. This, this girl is pushing everything on top of this guy and he can't get away. He just can't get away. You know, I wish I could help him, but what do you say to someone like that? Someone that's having their life run for them and having insurmountable obstacles placed in front of them, trying to please her. You can't do anything about it. But when you're MGTOW, if you've ever experienced the Sisyphus Stone, and you go MGTOW, you realize, hey, there is no stone, it's just life. And it's not a unending quest of futility. The unending quest of futility is to be married to a woman today, 50 years ago, and probably 50 years in the future. Humanity is fucked. And the punishment, not just for men, women are being punished now too, because of their ridiculous ignorance, stubbornness, and just general stupidity. They've gotten in their own fucking way, right? They've made their own lives more difficult. They could have had 1950 just standing around looking pretty all day, keeping a house in an immaculate, perfect, spotless shape and relaxing while men go out and push that stone up the hill for success. But nope, they decided they didn't want that. They want to get in your life. They want to control your life. They want to dominate your life and then push you down and set the fucking stone on your head and kill you called divorce. Now as men, you can either not get married, or if you are married, you can get divorced. And tell these women, just fuck it, you're gone, you're done. There's no need for this type of uh, torture anymore. The Sisyphus stone. <laughs> the Sisyphus myth. And the more scotch you have, the harder it is to say Sisyphus. Trust me. Tell you what, you go drink a double of scotch and say Sisyphus 12 times fast. And then you'll probably forget what your own name is. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching MGTOW is Freedom. Thank you for watching all MGTOW channels. Give this one a thumbs up. Give them all a thumbs up. And tell other men about MGTOW. That it has solutions real solutions, real answers, real understanding for the problems in their lives. If you remove the Sisyphus stone crapping machine out of your life, you can get ahead. You can get ahead. You can have peace. You can have quiet, success, satisfaction, life. Life is not about pushing a stone up a hill and never, ever, ever having any relief from that. Sisyphus can have his stone, right? My burden as MGTOW is much, much lighter. Thanks for sponsoring me with PayPal and Patreon. You guys be cool. I'll see you later. Oh, and Semper Fi.